If you want to build a natural reserve in Jurassic World Evolution 2, or you just want to do something new with a park build, you can use skins, variants, or even different species to create sexual dimorphism between your dinosaurs and have males and females in your park. Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> This video has 15 of what I think are the best examples for differentiating males and females. As said, you can create sexual dimorphism with the right skin choices, and this works for any species in the game. Usually in nature, males are more colorful because they compete to attract a mate, and the female has more muted colors because she doesn't need to impress anyone, but she probably will need better camouflage as the primary parent to be minding the nest. So give the males bright colors and the females grays and browns, or give the male a pattern while leaving the female patternless. If you want more pronounced physical differences between males and females, then you can try out the following combinations. First up is combining the default Parasaurolophus with the Dominion 2022 Parasaurolophus. A lot of these examples are going to use variants, and I think that is the best way to get the most out of the variants. The 2022 para just looks bulkier than the default para, which I think is more elegant. For this example, I matched up their colors pretty well, but going off of what I said earlier that males are oftentimes more colorful, you could also go for the blue 2022 Parasaurolophus and combine it with any of the more natural colored default paras. For the Brachiosaurus, we have the 2001 model, which with the red coloration on the head is canonically a male, if I recall correctly. Now in Jurassic Park 3, the Brachys that are then supposedly female look the exact same, except they lack that red on the head. In Jurassic World Evolution 2, we would combine the 2001 Brachy as the male with the default Brachiosaurus as the females. Sticking with the 2001 variants, obviously Jurassic Park 3 gave us male and female raptors, but I think the combination of the male raptor from JP3 with blue is a really cool alternative to just pairing it with the 2001 female. I think these two raptors go together really well because they both have that prominent stripe, it's just that their coloration and of course the quills are different. Something you can do with the 2001 female raptor is match her with Ghost. As we were waiting for the Atrocity Raptors to get added to Jurassic World Evolution 2 since they were missing from the first Dominion DLC, a lot of people were like, why would you even want the Atrocity Raptors in the game? They are just bulkier Velociraptors. I don't know where that came from. Technically, they had a point, so why not use that and pretend that they are indeed just bulkier male velociraptors? In the Jurassic universe, of course. Just as the 2001 female and ghost go together really well, so do the 1997 females and tiger. For these, obviously, I purposefully matched the skins again. I'll show you some examples with more different skins on top of being different variants, but when you are using different variants, or in this case even different species to simulate sexual dimorphism, I personally think it is best to keep the skins fairly similar, so the male and female don't start to look too different. You do want them to still look like they belong together as a pair. I have more examples with different species, but for now I'm going back to the variants, and one of my favorites is the default Allosaurus as the female, and the 2022 Allosaurus as the weathered, battle-hardened male. In nature, males often have to fight each other to gain the breeding rights to the females, so that's where that scarred look fits really well. For the same reason, you can use the 2022 Carnotaurus as the male to the default Carnotaurus. Technically, within the universe of the movies, the Allosaurus are adult and juvenile, but since there is no size difference, I think they work even better to simulate sexual dimorphism. I've done a video on how you can pretend that you have baby and juvenile dinosaurs in your parks, and in that video I mentioned that the default Aranosaurus and the Camp Cretaceous Aranosaurus could work well as adult and juvenile, or as male and female. The size difference is pretty big, so I prefer these as adult and juvenile, but I wanted to share it in this video anyway as well. The same goes for the Camp Cretaceous Kentrosaurus and the default Kentrosaurus. For these, you see, I did again match the skin, but the small female is a plain green, whereas the male has a pattern and color on his plates. Sexual dimorphism expressed through the crests of pteranodons is actually pretty accurate, so I think this one works really well the 2001 pteranodon with the Jurassic World pteranodon. The male would have the elongated crest, whereas the female has the stubby crest. 
I personally really don't like the Jurassic World Pterodon. I think it's hideous, I'm sorry. But this is a good enough reason even for me to use them once in a while. The rest of the examples in this video include some of my favorites, but do have more extreme physical differences that require some imagination. Someone replied to one of my pretend baby dinosaur tweets that it has too much imagination and you know, fair, whatever, but also that's kind of sad. Like some of us really grow up and lose that magic of imagination that we have as kids. And it's sad if you lose that. If you do still have that magic though, I think you're gonna enjoy these. Oh, and if you wanna spread some of that magic, give the video a like and subscribe for more ideas to spark your imagination for Jurassic World Evolution 2. First up, the default Iguandon with the 2022 Iguandon. Not unlike the Tyrandon, one of these variants I think is really ugly. <laughs> but again, using it for sexual dimorphism means I can still get some use out of it. The default Iguandon is a hecking chat. Like, he gets all the girls. I just made it super weird and... Just don't blame me, okay? Blame Disney. The last of the variants before we explore more different species as male and female pairs is the default Giga with the 2022 Giga. These look so different that in my head canon, the default Giga is actually an entirely different species. It's, it's Mapusaurus, not Giga. But you could also pretend that the default one is a female and the spiky, colorful 2022 variants are the male. I already showed you the combo of Velociraptor with the Trociraptor, which I don't think was that out there. I think they match pretty well. But I have five more pairs of different species and I'm gonna start with my least favorite and end on what I think is the best of the five. In fifth place, Sukamimus as female Spinosaurus. Obviously, you'd have to pretend here that only the males have sails, which is a stretch, I totally agree. <laughs> but you could reason it's purely a physical display to attract mates, hence only the male would have it. <laughs> In fourth, Stegosaurus and Werhosaurus, with the females being smaller and having rounded plates. Again, a lot of squinting and imagination required, but I do think matching the skins for these works pretty well. The Stegosaurus is Amazon Rainforest with Pilophylax, and Werhosaurus is Limpopo River with Rana. The bronze medal of different species to stand in for sexual dimorphism is the Merodactylus as the female version of Tropiognathus. Tropiognathus has the really pronounced crest to attract the ladies, whereas the Merodactylus has a more subtle version of this. The dentition for these species is very different, but from a distance, I think this works pretty well in my opinion. Second place, Proceratosaurus as the male and Coelophysis as the female. The males have the colorful crest, again looking beautiful for the women folk. Sexy. And the females have just a pointy crestless head instead. And last but not least, in first place, Styxosaurus with Attenborosaurus. I think these make a really good looking pair and work especially well if you match the skin colors. The idea for this video was suggested in several comments on my previous video, which was all about pretend baby dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2. So thank you so much for those suggestions. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out on the channel. I will link it right here. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the magic. Mm -hmm.